I'm Commander Cory, and this is my favorite playthrough on YouTube. Last time on Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition. You just cost me 20 years of my life. Ah, son of a bitch. Ah, I've survived this long watching my own back. No time to worry about anything. You're part of a team now, Zaid. There's no way we can do this unless we're all working together. You... You have a point. I'm not done with Vito. But I can put that behind me long enough to get your mission done. Hello, my beautiful nerds, and welcome back to yet another episode of Mass Effect 2 Insanity Difficulty, the Legendary Edition, of course, right here on Missile Dine Online. What's up? That's me. That's my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on yet another Mass Effect 2 video. Huge shout out to those of you watching in the premieres almost every single day around 2 p.m. Eastern. And a special shout out to those of you leaving likes and comments and all that jazz. It is awesome and I, I appreciate it so much. Thank you. We are cruising through these videos trying to get as many done as possible. Uh, I've been recording. It's been, it's been like two days of just straight up recording. So uh, we're trying to get as many as we can down. But I just want to say uh, thank you. And, and don't forget to leave a like and a comment. It really does help these videos out. Anyways, so in this video, we are going to tackle the Firewalker DLC. We have finished Kasumi's loyalty. We've done Zaid's loyalty. Uh, we have two dossier missions that we can do right now. The Convict and the Warlord, uh, which we will do. We're going to do the Warlord in the next episode. This one, though, is hopefully just going to be the entire Firewalker uh, DLC, which I would recommend doing early. Uh, it's more experience, it's more rewards, it's all that. And, and you know, the faster you get that stuff, the better. So we have four points for our level 11 Corey Shepard Vanguard. And uh, we're going to put those points into something here. And it's not actually going to be incendiary ammo, even though incendiary ammo can be very good. Inferno ammo, in, in particular, is very good when things are grouped up. But we're actually going to put it into Assault Mastery here, uh, capping that out. We, the last four went into heavy charge, which, like, mandatory. Uh, but we have two different choices here. So we can do either destroyer, your weapon inflicts even more damage, and you receive a damage bonus to biotic powers. Biotic powers increase by 15%. Uh, or we can go with champion. Our staying power lets us survive marathons of combat. Uh, power recharging time and paragon renegade scores are improved still further, and you receive a bonus to biotic power duration. So charge even faster of a cooldown. Uh, we, and you have more health and like it's just you get a hundred percent towards Paragon Ren Renegade your weapon damage is is uh, six percent lower than it would be but your power time is six percent higher and since so much of our who cares about weapon damage when we can pretty much kill everything with a shotgun anyways so champion is definitely the way to go uh, if you are playing a Vanguard at least I think so so that's that's what we're gonna rock especially on uh, you know maybe not on on lesser difficulties but on insanity i do think that that extra health and that renegade paragon bonus is just too good it's just too good to pass up oh there's something else i wanted to show since we actually got armor we did we upgraded our um our ship uh these two will say something the new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profile but engines are good to go i rebalanced the guildborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers Love it when you talk dirty. Oh, uh, these two should date. I'm just saying, they should date someday. That's it. That's all I'm saying. I'm just throwing it out there. They're obviously, you know what I mean? They're obviously in love. Uh, so we're going to go to our, uh, the Combat Information Center. We're already in the same, like, system, the same cluster as the Firewalker DLCs. So, do you have anything for me? No, she would oh, let us know. Care. Okay, bye. We do have some new unread powers, or unread messages, unread powers, uh, that I would like to show you. For instance, Talitha, who you might remember as being the colonist from Menduar, one of the other survivors of Menduar. Uh, we saw her in Mass Effect 1, and she needed help, and we, we kind of talked her out of, uh, of hurting herself. Uh, she says, Shepard, I don't know if you remember me. I had a gun, and you stopped me from hurting myself. I just said that. Uh, my doctors say I'm doing better. One of them works with the people you work for. He told me he could get a message to you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't talked to me talked to me that day, but the doctors are helping me. I'm getting better. They put me in a special school and they say I'm doing good. The doctors say that other people are getting taken like I was. I hope you can help them like you helped me. From Consort Shaira, 
which you might remember as the consort of Mass Effect 1. I thought that my gift of words had been incorrect, an embarrassing notion, but my contacts tell me you yet survive. I am pleased to hear that your journey continues, though I sense that you head toward an even, even dark, deeper darkness. When you fought Saren, only your resolve was tested, but now I fear you cannot rely solely on your own strength. Take whatever steps you must to ensure that those battling at your side fight with clear minds and glad hearts. Dr. Chloe Michelle, the person that ran the clinic on, uh, on the Citadel. I was relieved to hear that you were alive. I was devastated to hear the destruction of the Normandy and those people who didn't make it off in time. After you went missing and were presumed dead, I'd fear I'd never see you or Garrus ever again. You and he did so much to help clean up the wards when you were hunting for Saren. The galaxy needs more people like you, and I'm glad that you're still here to protect those of us who've grown to depend upon both of you. Is Gareth with is Garrus with you again by any chance? After being so happy to hear of your survival, I wondered if perhaps he might have ended up with you. I left a couple a few messages on his public accounts, but you know how he is about checking his mail, and I don't think the comm address I had for him works anymore. Because he hasn't returned any calls, always so busy on his grand crusades, his great passions that he focuses on them to the exclusion of anything or anyone else. Anyway, if you know where he might be, I would really love to hear from him. Or both of you could come by the next time you're near the Citadel. So cute. So cute. I don't think Joker says anything new right now. Uh, loyalty missions don't actually really count as time passing. So, or those two, anyways. You spend your next so we'll see. You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. We're gonna kick some ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. I would actually agree with that. I, I sure think we will. Let's see if Joker says anything if we come over here. Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh. 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 Joker. I can tell when it's listening. I am always listening, Mr. Moreau. I know. <laughs> I assume good for now. Fractured. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right, I'm glad we ended up coming up and talking. I love Edie and, and Joker. It's just like it's such a good touch. I really like the layout of, of of like the story progression. I should say of Mass Effect 2 as well, where you like recruiting this party, but then it's not enough to just recruit them, right? You need to make sure that they are committed and dedicated to your task, and that all of their loose ends in life. Are, are kind of are kind of done right and they can focus on they can focus on what they need to do and if, if the worst happens they're okay with that right all right let's go we're going to firewalker msv rosalie we actually got a message for this and I'll, I'll be sure to show that before we actually head into uh into this mission but first we scan all right, we've scanned everything, which means that we only have Ziona left, which, uh, by the way, this galaxy, or, the, yeah, this galaxy, or this, not this galaxy, this, this star system here, uh, actually has really, really, really good, uh, platinum. Lots of platinum around here. So, anyways, we'll go to Ziona. And we got the Trophy Galactic Explorer. You love to see it. So, we can scan this. We actually have to scan for, first of all, it's rich. So, heck yeah. But there's also an anomaly that here, and we want to make sure that we find the anomaly by using probes. So the way that you find anomalies, in case you haven't figured it out, is if you scan over an area and it lights up like this, that's where you know you need to probe. probe away. So we'll go ahead and we'll send that probe. Scans have found something. Anomaly detected have located the Hammerhead Exploration Vehicle and also show active data storage sites that may contain information as to the whereabouts of Doctors Case in Oloy. So let's go ahead and actually exit that so that we can look at our journal here and see why, why, what is, what even is this thing? So if we look here, we'll see, uh, there's, there's this thing. We're not going to worry about that right now. Uh, but we do have the fire, the Project Firewalker Rosalie Lost. Cerberus's Project Firewalker has reported that a survey ship has gone missing near the planet Ziona. The ship was carrying researchers and a prototype planet-side exploration vehicle, the Hammerhead, when it went missing. Cerberus has asked that the vehicle be recovered and that any signs to the whereabouts of the researchers be reported. So, basically, that's that's the gist of the of the private message that we got. Which is this this message right here the msv rosalie a survey ship with cerberus connections has gone missing so we need to try and find them that's pretty much that's pretty much it you probably got that earlier so let's do it let's land on ziona this is actually one of the few missions in this game where you're in a vehicle uh and it doesn't really matter who you bring for a squad because again you're in a vehicle 
but I can show you Zaid's new costume here, which is like a little bit less beat up and red looking and it looks cool. I mean, we'll take it. And obviously he has his Inferno grenade now, but we're going to go ahead and take Morden and Miranda. That's who we're taking on our team, but mostly that's just so that I can put some points into our boy Morden's stuff here. The first thing that we want to do on Morden is you want to just max out his incinerate as quickly as you can because it's super good. And we're going to go with incineration blast. This splash zone on this plasma round is increased, allowing you to scorch multiple targets. And you'll see that it does 170 damage points over three seconds. Uh, but it's... Uh, it's got a, a, a more than double the radius of heavy incinerate so it's going to hit even more than that next uh our big upgrades are going to go into cryoblast in fact which is really good so incineration blast is really good at like removing everything cryoblast is really good at just cc'ing so that potentially we can relocate or we can charge into it and break them uh so many different things that we can do with cryoblast and then for miranda we're going to just max out her uh cerberus officer here you know actually i think i'm gonna change my mind i'm gonna go with overload just because we do deal with so many shielded enemies and i think we're gonna need a, a very consistent way of dealing with that so that's that's actually what we're gonna choose so we're gonna choose we'll, we'll eventually be able to max out overload warp and cerberus uh officer on her uh but for now we're just gonna go it doesn't matter for this mission that's the point it doesn't matter there's no it doesn't we're not even it doesn't matter Look at this. This looks awesome. This looks dope. I don't think the ship is safe. We run into the gap far too often. Hmm. I'm going to stay at the next site with Dr. Aloy. I think we'll be safer there. You know, come to think of it, we haven't fought any Geth at all so far in Mass Effect 2. Zero geth which is actually kind of crazy we fought a bunch of mercs so far but literally zero <laughs> zero geth whereas mass effect one was like we're just fighting geth for days look at this place so this is dlc keep that in mind i mean it just looks it just looks so cool look at that all right so this place didn't do well this survey station we can we can tell that this looks i love how this looks just like an updated cargo thing that we saw so much in mass effect one let's go ahead and bypass this all right there we go we can get inside here and retrieve the hammerhead the gone are the days of the mako this is a little sad i just noticed miranda's literally like her only helmet is just that's funny Look, fighting look vehicle. at this, this is thing. Your onboard VI. Ooh. Ooh. So we can actually jump in here so that we can hit this thing. Look at this. Mission objectives located. Caution. Guided missile system active. We'll go ahead and get that. That'll give us 900 credits. And we're basically this is just a tutorial to teach you how to use the hammerhead. Interesting. Suggest so taking a closer look. And we brought Morden because it makes sense. He's a scientist. And Miranda, because, well, this is her... It's kind of her thing here. Look at how cool this is. We'll go ahead and destroy this. Path is now clear. Thank you. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't boost through that at all, but that's fine. It was like, you need to boost through this. And I was like, no, I don't. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. All right, let's go ahead and jump on. I think we can jump up here and then jump up here perfect and then we can grab these so this is basically just a tutorial but also what it's doing we're gonna go ahead and boost here so that we can land right here and we can get all of the credit like i said this is gonna be a lot of credits so and we want we want all these Looks like there's another uh two over here looks like also a destroyed doesn't actually matter unless it's a research thing it doesn't it's like the blue so we're actually going to go ahead and whoop and kind of boost up and then jump so l2 to boost and then we'll 
we'll use the hammerhead to get all this research. Found it. We found it? Good. And another one. I just, I just think it's like, it's a super silly mission in that it doesn't really do anything, right? But you don't fight anything, you don't really do anything. But I, I don't know, I don't mind it. I ain't mad. All right, we got another one that we need to find here. And it's over there. So what we need to do is pump over here. This is kind of what we did before, but we, we kind of went a different way because of the, the research. So this is the way that it wants us to go. And then we'll zoom up. Whoop. And then we'll zoom up here. And that should be the last one here. Super easy to control. The, well, hello. I was like, uh, what do you mean? I'm on top of it. You can see like that that gauge there on the on the hammerhead itself. Mission objectives completed. We did it. Look at that. That looks so cool. Anyways, we're we're done with that. Mission completed. I don't know, dude. This actually unlocks more. It's not done. It's, it's not done. It unlocks more missions. But now we have the hammerhead. So we found wreckage of the freighter MSV Rosalie, which was all over that planet. We got the hammerhead though, and we've recovered the research data. So we got 125 experience and 1500 total credits earned, which you'd love to see. And we get the trophy operative. Heck yeah. I don't think that counts as a- Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, uh, I guess it does count. Prototype recover. Good work on recovering the hammerhead in one piece, Commander. It will prove useful. Also, the data you recovered from the MSV Rosalie's emergency beacon contains significant intel on a few planets that Dr. Case and Dr. Aloy investigated. Edie has added the locations to your galaxy map. We hope that one of them leads you to the Prothean site. Despite Dr. Case's obvious instability, he's proven to be a brilliant and dedicated scientist. If you salvage more of his logs or journals, it would greatly help our efforts. We still don't know how the Geth are tracking Dr. Case, so be careful. You got it. So it looks like we're not done with this mission. I am, sh frankly, I'm shocked. I assume everything. This thing wants to fire me over a joke. Okay, I said I'd flash the AI core, but I was kidding. And we'd only lose a few systems. Nosy ones. To clarify, human resources adjustments are not actually under my authority. Then why? Why are you always picking on me? My replies were intended to provoke, though not to cause distress. Your reactions are atypical of most humans. You are interesting. Oh. Edie, were you intentionally egging him on? What part of your programming covers that? Nothing in the restrictions imposed upon me forbids active observation techniques. Mr. Moreau's performance actually improved under duress. I never figured the coming overlords would be so annoying. I'm just... I'm done. <laughs> I assume it's for now. Fracture. So anytime, anytime you can, just make sure you come talk to Joker. I had to show that. So, using the galaxy map, now that I took that little detour to talk to Joker, nobody else has anything to say, we have other locations that we can go to. So, let's go ahead and let's uh, get out of this system. We've explored it 100% because of course we have. Uh, we've scanned everything, we've done everything. I do need more probes, so we're going to do that first. But that's it for the Ismar Frontier area. Actually, in fact, I think that's everything that we get from here, period. So there is an upgrade later that will allow us to have 60 probes at a time. I just wanted to point that out in case you're like, God, I hate going all the way back to the thing. You don't, you don't really have to. All right, so now we have Firewalker Artifact Collection, Firewalker Geth Incursion, and Firewalker Recover Research Data. And we're gonna choose to go to the Phoenix Massing System, where we, or sorry, the, the Hawking Ada Cluster, which we've been to in Mass Effect. I was like covered and I couldn't see it. Uh, we're going to the Hawking Ada cluster to recover some artifacts using the hammerhead. You'd love to see it. But of course, we have some scanning to do. Okay, that was a very quick system to scan. So we're going to head to the Ver. The Ver. Ver? Ver cluster. Where <laughs> for the Firewalker artifact collection. And of course, upon arriving, we're going to need to scan the entire place which oh god there's so many planets here there's three all right so both of those planets sucked you know i find planet scanning to be very 
very relaxing. All right, let's go ahead and scan this place. It is rich, which you love to see. And right there, we can find the anomaly, which is super close to where our uh, location was. So we'll go ahead and pop that. Scans have found something. Perfect. Scans have found locations matching the descriptions of Dr. Case's survey sites. Geth? Wait a minute, are we about to run into some Geth? I'm into that. We're gonna bring the same party of Morty and Miranda. It doesn't matter at all, but hey, it's fun to bring them. So that's, that's who is coming with us. The Hammerhead, our new exploration vehicle. Hmm. What is this place? Definitely not Prothean. Why, Geth, I miss you so. Scanning for mission objectives. We'll have some Geth troopers in front of us. We really only have one thing that we can do here against these. Which is... Okay, we gotta watch out for that. Just a little bit. Alright, so we need to be super careful. Uh, don't rush in. Kind of take them out. It looks like the Hammerhead does have project uh, uh, seeking missiles. So we can take them all out. And then go from there. Jeez, they demolished us that first time. Go ahead, jump over here. Keep an eye out for more Geth Troopers. And you can see where the artifacts are. We need to find five of them. Dropship coming in. There it is. Go ahead and take down this Colossus. No longer do we have to worry about, hey, we don't have the XP for this. So we'll just kind of jump around while we take them out. Now you can't actually get out of the hammerhead, by the way, like you could in the uh, in the Mako. So it's not like you even really have a choice. This is just kind of how you have to take him down. We're gonna watch out for that. That ended up hitting us. Death Colossus went down. All right, we were able to take down the Geth Trooper that was also there, and now we want to scan this, collect this artifact. 250. That's it. Well, what are you going to do? Better than nothing. So these are kind of a nice change. I think I think the Firewalker DLC missions are, are a really nice change of pace uh, from doing the loyalty missions and everything. In fact, it, a lot of people will actually save this for later just to kind of break up the, the quest, you know, of, oh, go recruit this person. Go do this. Blah, blah, blah. see a Geth Colossus, which we fought so many of in Mass Effect 1. And there's also a Geth Destroyer near him as well. But we don't have to worry about overheating or anything like that. We can actually head over here and scan this Extraction complete. for 1,200 Platinum. Destroying that. And then we have a Geth Trooper as well over here. We'll go ahead and just take that out pretty quickly, which we can do. Nice. And then we'll scan this artifact as well. You can kind of see it on the ground there. 250 credits yet again. And then we'll continue on over here. It looks like we need to go this way. We want to not land in this water, by the way. This isn't water, it's acid. And uh, well, acid hurts. So we're actually going this way here. Woo, up this ramp. I don't see any more artifacts or anything that we can claim. I don't think there's anything under here, but just, okay. I just wanted to make sure. I don't think it's too bad to control this thing either. The hammerhead, I think it controls pretty well. We can go through here, or I believe we can even go up here. Both ways work. See if we can take out whatever lands. Perfect. This kind of gives us the high ground, and we can just kind of shoot, and these missiles will just go towards their target. I 
can't we just use this all the time? Imagine this against that gunship. Whew. That'd be nice. Maybe eventually we'll get to take down this dropship. But that's the way that we could have gone was through that tunnel. But we're going to go collect this artifact here. And we just want to keep an eye out for any yellow pools on the ground. And make sure that we grab any that we see. Acquired. Acquired. Three out of five artifacts. Neat. Just kind of keeping an eye out for whatever we can find. And then we actually have to get up there. The way that we do that is actually by using where we came in. And we kind of need to use it like a ramp. So we'll go ahead, we'll boost. And we'll jump. Easy. And then there's another artifact, or not an artifact, but another thing that we can collect right here. You kind of need to, you, you need to uh, actually like keep yourself on that because it will try to push you away. Then we'll go up here. Then we're gonna have more geth, I believe. As soon as we come up, uh, I'm not seeing any, so we'll keep going. There we go. It's like I know more are launching. Go ahead and just try to keep this moving. There's a geth prime actually, which we haven't fought yet in Mass Effect 2. Made short work of that Geth Colossus. And then this destroyer will go ahead and eliminate as well. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's go ahead and use this and collect. Oh, sorry. And collect our uh, four out of five artifacts. Required. Beautiful. And then you'll actually see that we have another option here. We can go that way or we can go up here. Up here is the way we want to go. And there's actually more rocket drones. So we need to just watch out and hopefully take these out quickly. Woo! These guys can do a lot of damage, but we can jump over their rockets. We can do we can do a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of different ways to deal with them. Or we can just absolutely destroy them. So let's go ahead and we'll go up here and jump. Love to see it. And we can grab this as well. I believe you could also go down and around, but you wouldn't get this. So not worth it. We've gotten a ton of platinum from this, actually. And there we go. There's our final artifact. Actually, you know what? I think we have to go this way. I think I was right. We'll go ahead and we'll jump here. Whoa! Okay, we're fine. And then I think we should. I guess we're not getting any troopers yet. Any geth yet. So I want to get as close as I can over here. Trying to see if I can get this to pop because I actually don't want to go over there. Morning. Well, looks like detected. I'm gonna have to. And we'll just keep moving as much as we can. We actually have multiple Geth Colossus here. So we need to deal with them as best we can. Just keep moving and hopefully not get absolutely destroyed by these guys. We'll destroy that destroyer, speaking of destroyed careful of any of those. There's a Geth Prime over there as well that's firing at us. The Geth Primes are actually a little bit more dangerous than the Colossus just because the Colossus, the Colossus fire so slowly. You'll actually hear our shields were just going, saying, letting us know that our shields were down. But that's alright because we can collect our last artifact right here. You love to see it. Required. Actually, I think if I'm not mistaken... Yep, there's another one here. So before we end the mission, we just want to go ahead and grab this for more platinum. I almost, almost missed that. That would have sucked. Missing 1,200 platinum? Oh, I would have been a sad boy. And that's it. We're done with that mission. Easy. So there's actually something that happens way later in the game, and you might be thinking, well, once I get that character and I decide to uh, rewrite something, maybe I won't have to deal with this as as min as much. Uh, no, unfortunately. 
Data recovered from planet's surface. Historically significant artifacts recovered. Dr. Case's location not found among recovered data. Geth presence on the planet eradicated. We get 125 experience. We get 2,500 credits and 5,000 platinum, which I'm all for. Give me all of the platinum, baby. All of the platinum. But we're not done. We have another message now that we can read. Uh, the artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger Prothean site. They have incredible value for historians and might be instrumental in building our understanding of the Prothean legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the Geth presence, Commander. We will keep you apprised of further Geth activity should it threaten mission integrity. And it won't because I will take them all out. And Joker? Commander, I assume everything's going well up here. Quiet enough. I... What the... Trouble? No, it's nothing. I... Son of a... Very funny, Edie. Real original. Stop it. You did insist on manual control, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up Good for now. <laughs> See you, Commander. See what I mean? You just... You have to. You every, every single time you come back to the Normandy, you just have to check to make sure what's going on with Joker. Because it's always good stuff, man. It's always good stuff. Yes, we'd like that, actually. And we can talk to Morden as well. Time ...with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. Mm-hmm. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage overcoming disease oh no did the krogan evolve or did some of their scientists develop a treatment krogan scientists <laughs> never met krogan scientists worthy of term no natural evolution krogan physiology incredibly durable organ redundancy backup systems cellular regeneration genophage like any other natural hazard krogan evolved past it you know krogan should probably be the like ultimate uh civilization of the Mass Effect universe, considering they're so incredibly powerful. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population <laughs> spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan, oh. too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. I mean, he's not wrong. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Oh, no. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, uh, averted potential genocide, or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide unnecessary. Krogan okay, as but... a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. Uh, How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. <sighs> Messy. Better when things went as planned. Solarians are also like a force to be reckoned with. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Crazy. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. The genophage was a mistake bordering on a war crime. Recreating it is unforgivable. Don't want me on team? Don't bring me. Can stay here. Work on collector research. But no apologies. Did what was right. Hope you do the same if necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Shepard, not at moment. Think anything else? I'll let you work. Well, here if you need me. I mean, I don't really blame him, but at the same time, we've met a Krogan who, you know, has become one of our best friends. So it's just weird. 
And I don't think anybody else is really going to have any conversations for us. I know Garrus doesn't, and I know, obviously, these two don't as well. Or Jacob doesn't. But I'll check real quick, and then we'll come back. Kasumi probably has something to say. Hey, Shepard. You really dodged a bullet down there. It took us to stand up to Zaid, but I'm glad you did. Thank you. I usually travel hidden away in cargo bays. It's nice to be able to look out a window for a change. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. I guess his reputation will take time to heal. Because of us, baby. Because of Come us. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. All right. About. Maybe we can find some other conversations. All right. So we can now proceed on more of these Firewalker missions. So we have uh, a couple more places that we can actually head to. But we want to head here first to the Mass Relay. And then we can go to those new areas that we saw in the other clusters. We will go to Sentry and Swar's Child. Uh, we will go there. So, you know, I ain't too worried about it. Using this mass relay, we can go to our new areas here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, we have two here. We have the Phoenix Massing for Geth Incursion. And we have uh, the Recover Research Data. We're actually going to head to Phoenix Massing first for this Geth Incursion. Take down any Geth that we have. But, as usual, we need to scan. And I would definitely, definitely recommend scanning the Tosra because there are a few rich uh, planets that you can actually get there, which is awesome. You'll also notice that we have Investigate Project Fire Lord. That's another DLC that we're not doing for quite a while. So, just wanted to point that out. And we're in the cluster with Latesh, which is the planet that we have to go to for a thing called Geth Incursions. And if you remember, Aspect 1, we had something called Geth Incursions. And it was crazy. I'm expecting this to be the same. And the only other planet we can do is Latesh. I have detected an anomaly. Perfect. Moderate, easy. And right here we can find the anomaly that we need. I have found something. Detect signals from sensor pods. Warning, surface temperatures are extremely low. Advise keeping hammerhead exposure to the cold at an absolute minimum. Interesting. All right, now we can land on it. Let's go ahead. We scanned everything. We got it. Let's go and get ready, guys. Make sure you pick the best squad possible because this is called Geth Incursions, and I'm sure we're going to have a lot to deal with. So we're going to go with Morden and Miranda, and let's just get this. Make sure everyone's got the best stuff they have. Here we go, guys. I think this team is going to do really well against, against uh, this Geth Incursion. Oh, also, I'm just kidding. There's literally no combat whatsoever here. All we have to do is we go scan these, these nodes that we have to get. We need all 10 of them, and we'll get uh, that, but we need to do it before our engines freeze. So that's what we're going to go do. The, the more your engines freeze, the slower you actually go. But every single time that you get a node, you'll actually restore a little bit of your of your engines, a little bit of the heat to it. And we want to try to get as many as we can here. This is just a race against time. Super easy mission, as long as you, you know, do it right. And try to take as many shortcuts as possible. And try not to ram into anything because that actually is going to reduce the your uh the the heat in your engine as well so you want to be super careful not to do that looks like we're able to get this one extraction complete and then we'll keep going here we got another one that we can see up there Perfect. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Five left. Extraction complete. We know we saw one behind us. But we're going to keep going. Grab this one as well. Extraction complete. And not only are we, you know, able to get this, but we're also getting resources from doing it as well.
Only two left. One more after this. And it's actually up here. I think we'll be able to do it, friends. I think we can do it as long as we don't freeze to death. Grab the final one here. You can see the hammerhead actually getting frost all over it. There we go. Objective complete. We did it. So if you don't do it, you still finish the mission. You just don't get all of the Cerberus funding. But if you finish it all, you get the Cerberus funding, which is pretty cool. We did it. Nice job. Good pickup. Good pickup. Atmospheric data recovered from all 10 nodes. So no, I don't know why that's called Geth Incursion. No idea. But we'll get 125 experience uh, and we get the 2500 uh, Cerberus funding. We didn't find any credits, but they did pay us to do it. But we did find 5000 Palladium. So you can't get too mad about that. Which means, my friends, that we only have one more that we can do here. But first... Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. A very capable team is analyzing the data you gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new venues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. Apparently, we're just taking the what the Geth are learning and applying it to... I like that. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovation that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. No evidence of Prothean activity on this data. Uh, on this planet. Remember, that is why we're doing this, is because uh, there's these guys were following some Prothean stuff, and then the Geth intervened, and uh, we, we want to find out what's going on with that. So so that means that we have only one last mission, I believe, of the Rosalie, the Project Firewalker here. So we want to head back to the Mass Relay. And we can go ahead and use this now that we've stocked up, and head to the Calliston Rift Cluster to recover the research data. I think everything's gonna go just fine here. I don't think there's gonna be a problem at all. But first, the scans. I do wanna point out that the planet that as soon as we get there, Kaliston, has element zero on it. Woo, okay, that was a lot of scanning. Uh, but finally we did that and now we can go continue on with this Firewalker to the Yakawa system. Ooh, that's a long way to go. And there we are, but of course, as per always, we must scan. Also, I want to point out, it's incredibly hard to see, but there's this tiny little planet on the ring right next to the sun. And I just, I wanted to point that out. And finally, on Karumta, the only place left that we can scan an Earth-sized planet. Nice. Whoa, immediately getting big palladium. And finally, we found a little place right here. We'll send our probe there. And we just found the anomaly. Research station detected within Volcano. The research station's data storage systems are still active and may contain valuable information. Volcano is unstable. Well, that sounds fun. All right, it's depleted. We're going to close the scanner. And we are going to land on Karumto for one of the final Firewalker DLC missions. We're not done. There's one remaining after this. So uh, it doesn't matter yet again what your squad is going to be. I'm actually going to put Morden and Miranda because that's what I've been doing. And I just I feel like that's what I need to do. This place has an active volcano, man. What? Luckily, this time we're not in a race. Or maybe we are. I don't know. It said it's in an active volcano. No big deal. All right, Hammerhead's online. First geothermal activity has rendered pathfinding function inoperable. Oh no. Please use manual controls to locate research base. What? Well, I guess we got to do that. Look at this place though. Oh my, this is awesome. Holy cannoli. So we can head down this way instead of going the other way. Ooh, don't land in the lava. I think we can I think we can reach that right there. Yeah, we can. And we'll get 250 iridium. All right, so now we want to see area compromised due uh -oh. to unstable volcanic activity. We're going to go the other way now. 
and uh whoop can we get back there yeah we can get back we can get back because all we have to do is just go this way <laughs> all right all right going all the way back to the top here and then we can go this way and make this jump here Woo. a little scary but we did it and then we come here guys no problem and then we can go oh, geez hit the thing Thank you. We can go ahead and grab some more iridium. It looks like there's actually another one over there. I think we can make it. Let's do it. Oh, oh that was a little stressful. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Extraction complete. Some more iridium. And then it looks like there's more on that side too. I think we can get there. Oh, easy peasy. Look at all of this, man. Extraction complete. And another one there that we can just easily grab. Acquired. Not the not really the right way to go, but hey, you know what? Worked for me. So let's head down here. Nice little spin we do. Let's see if we can find what we're looking for here. A research station that's in an active volcano. Research base entrance. Oh, nice. And we find more iridium. Doesn't look like there's any more around here. But it does look like there's a potential slope over here that we can go to. But before we do that, let's actually exit the hammerhead for the first time, actually, that allows us to do that. Nice. We want to make sure that we do not enter back into the hammerhead here. We want to explore this little tiny research station that we found see what we can find look at this this is so cool man we're in a volcano I'm sure that's not stressful at all right check out what's over here it looks like a bunch of broken glass something definitely happened here computer console we can go ahead and examine that I was right this site was a roadmap leading to the main Prothean ruins oh Dr. Why? I will not allow another Eden Prime to occur. The Geth, the Reapers, all of them, they must be stopped. Interesting. There's a door over here that we can bypass. Go ahead and open that up. another door but we also saw that there was a locker right here that we can open for 125 credits better examine that console terminal dr case's log this hellish planet is a star map that points to a prothean site of major significance we've been mere uh and i have mere hours to retrieve all we can before the conditions become too dangerous to continue we learned too late that the local volcanic instability is magnified by our power grid if we only had more time to study this i'm sure the key to unlocking everything is here everything damn this planet can activate these sensors here Oh no Activation of research base power grid has triggered additional volcanic instability recommend immediate departure Yeah, we should probably head out now Come on, we need to leave But what about all these other rooms that we can go explore now? What's this way? I think we're fine. I think we can explore a little bit. Who cares if it's exploding? Let's get this refined iridium. Now, I would recommend doing that, doing uh, researching or looking around and getting everything before you uh, you make the place destroyed. Uh, but you know, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta click on everything. We're fine. We're fine. It's totally fine. That way, it just exploded. Nah, uh, we're still good. We can go through this door here. Nice. Look, okay, it's peaceful. Looks like they were staying here. We can get this wall saved for 250 credits. That's it. And a data pad. We have detected a site of incredible significance located beneath the volcano. All right. That, yeah, it's definitely beneath the volcano. That's for sure. We can head this way. I think there was actually... In the place that we started in, I think there was Metagel. We need to get to the Hammerhead anyway, so it's not a big deal. 
I wish you could go down here, but uh, you can't. It's like a, it's like a no passageway. It makes you feel like this place is gonna explode and you're all gonna die, but it's not the case. Running through. I think there is a meta gel. Yep, right over there that I missed. Not a big deal. Go ahead and grab that. So, uh, should we get on the hammerhead? Yeah, yeah, we should. <laughs> I just love how this, like, research station is, like, crumbling. And you, it makes you think, like, oh, no, but no, it's fine. All right, so we actually, we want to go this way here. I was actually considering going this way before we went into the research station, but that would have been a bad idea. Oh, no! Oh, jeez. Oh, we need to get out of here. I think we, uh, I think we, I think we broke, I think we broke it. There is no smoking inside the vehicle at any time. I'm not smoke. The smoking is the lavas. And it's bad. It's real smoky. Oh, but hey, there's more stuff we can get. So I'm going to grab that. Hope you don't mind. I, I know the volcano is exploding, but um, there was iridium there. You know what I mean? Go through this way. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> We're fine. This is no big. Unless, of course, you know, you miss a jump and you land in the lava. That might be some big. Normandy, our savior. Appreciate you. We should get a ton of Iridium from this quest, or this mission, but we're not done. Data recovered. Dr. Case's location discovered. Landing party extracted from Volcano. We get 125 experience, that's quite a bit. Uh, 1625 for credits, which I believe is the most we can get, and then 4500 Iridium, so we actually missed Iridium on that. But that's fine, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, fine, you caught me. It wasn't fine, and I went back and I replayed the mission so I could so I could get these the, the 500 iridium that I'm in. Don't judge me, chat. And the other one's on this side. It's at the very bottom of the of the path. <sighs> Whatever, dude. All right, all right. I fixed it. I fixed it. I went and I got. I just don't judge me. There's no reason for that. And we get the agent trophy, which you love to see. The more trophies, the better. That means we only have one mission left. Let's do it. Snap, five months later, and I'm finally recording the end of this episode, but pretend you didn't see this because the power of editing, even though I look completely different than I did in the rest of this. Anyways, let's go ahead. We do have a private terminal message that we can check out now, but we are at the end of Project Firewalker DLC, I think. I don't know. It's been months. Uh, a very cap capable team is analyzing the data that we gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open up new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The, text used, the tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us to develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There's no evidence of Prothean activity on this planet, but there was a security breach. That was a close one on Karamto. That was the, yeah, that volcano that for you just happened. Anyways, the point is, a disturbing fact has come to light in analyzing the channel you use to transmit your findings. Unauthorized transmissions have been sent from the MSV Rosalie to an unknown destination. It's assumed this is how the Geth are tracking Doctor's case in Oloi. The data you retrieved gives us a de definite location for Dr. Case's Prothean site. The doctor was certain that the site held a Prothean revelation of enormous significance. It is recommended you head there as soon as possible to encounter any Geth retrieval missions already in play. So that, my friends, is where we're going to go. The last mission of the Firewalker DLC, which means we were able to tackle it all in one episode. Yeah, it was a longer one, I think. Uh, but who cares? Because we were still, we were able to do it. And that's... That's what matters. So, as always, let's go ahead and head to the mass relay. And we'll go ahead and we'll use the mass relay so that we can go to somewhere else. Which, where we want to go, is over in the Hades Nexus cluster to Firewalker Prothean Ruin. And, of course, when we get there, guess what we're going to do? We're going to scan everything. 
and on to the cluster Hoplos, or the whatever you want to call it. And that, I can't believe the Firewalker DLC this close to ending, my gosh. But first, the scanning. Now, before we head to our final planet of Coppice, I actually want to show off this world trident just because I think it's super cool. A human dominated world with over 95% of its surface covered by salt water. It's home to a dazzling array of life. The oceans are filled with creatures ranging from tiny bivalves to uh, mammoth vertebrates unequaled even by Earth's whales. Small archipelagos create what little land there is, and its valuable re real estate is fought over constantly. This place has been mined, has tons of valuable resources on the ocean floor, and it is a lawless world. It's home to a rogues gallery of unethical corporations exploiting the resources of the planet and actual rogues, criminal slavers, and mercenaries working the shadows, which sounds super cool. And uh, there is over 6 million people uh, on this planet. I just think it's super cool like, you, you, to see these little, these little planets, you know? detected an anomaly and here we will find our final mission of firewalker dlc but first we must scan and locate let's see if we can just quickly locate our whoa look at all this bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on let me <laughs> i gotta probe this thing and right here we'll find our anomaly but we're still poor so we're gonna go ahead and find the rest of the can prothean artifacts detected on planet's surface artifact site is protected by a powerful energy barrier Scans detect muted mechanical signature consistent with hidden automated defenses. Uh-oh. Man, I have a lot of resources. Okay, let's go ahead and let's land on our final Firewalker Copus. Copus. Cop. 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 Prothean Ruins. I'm excited. As always, we're going to take our party of Morden and Miranda. Because they are the brightest among us. Let's go ahead and land, baby. Let's go. Immediately, we can see the energy barrier right in front of us. Kinetic barrier detected. Kinetic okay. Barrier strength beyond conventional weapon capability. Uh oh. Disabling power sources. So it looks like as soon as we get down here, we uh, need to destroy some generators. But we're also going to see that there are rocket drones that are going to be attacking us. That's actually not that big of a deal. We can pretty much just ignore the rocket drones and just attack the generators. No big deal. So you'll see a few rocket drones. They'll have shields and, and everything else on them, but it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, in fact, the only time that I will... Whoa, let's see if we can get up here. Hang on. Okay. Anyway, I guess I'll figure something else out. Let's go ahead and scan this first. And 165 element zero. Yeah, we're going to want that. So it looks like we do have to end up climbing up here. But it's 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 not a big deal. We can do that no problem. Well, I mean, we can destroy these rocket drones. I don't see why not. Takes, what, three hits. I mean, we can jump over stuff if we want. You'll see there looks like sort of a Mako on the ground there. I mean, rocket drones are literally some of the easier enemies that we get to fight in the Hammerhead. Just because they don't really move much. And Godfall was updated. Forgot I even had that game installed. I haven't played it at all. So we'll just keep going and kind of ignore these guys. Get up here. We'll go ahead and grab this one as well. Apologies for the updates. I don't know why the notifications are showing up. Oh. We'll go ahead and just keep going through here. Boom. Easy. So we're just going to ignore those guys for now like i said we don't have to stop to kill any of them but we do want to get as much element zero as we can because you guys know element zero makes the world go round so we'll just jump away from those guys no big deal just don't run into them because that actually does damage to you as long as you don't run into them you'll be just fine we'll go ahead and we will tackle this generator here only two are left reduced great Whoop, got it. Oh, now now we have to deal with these. Just because that one is literally right on our butt. There we go. Ooh, I was a little worried there for a sec. We'll go ahead and grab this. For more element zero. Hop over here and destroy our final generator. Just going to lower that kinetic barrier. And then we can actually get into whatever is down here. 
Nice. Is clear. Sweet. We got all of the element zero. I believe all of the element zero that we can get up here. Man, I hope so. One more thing I want to try. Yeah, I believe we got all of the element zero. Good. So let's go ahead and let's drop down into this area. And we can exit the hammerhead. Again, it doesn't matter, though, that you can exit. It doesn't matter what your squad is. It doesn't, it's really not that big of a deal, right? Because you're, you're going to have to go out and explore. And there's not like there's enemies to, to fight ever in Firewatch. Besides when you're in the actual uh, hammerhead. You guys know the drill. So we want to head over into the little little area here. Obviously, we can't bring our... I haven't played. It's so weird. I haven't played in so long. I know for you guys, it's... Oh, look at the little bug. It's, uh, it hasn't, you know, it's been one episode. But for me, it's been months. Months and months and months. Oh, hey, Blue Suns Mercs here littering the floor. Looks like we're not the only ones to get here. We're going to go ahead and grab... Uh, I know I just saw it. Element zero over here first for 225 element zero. Hey, it all adds up. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up. Let's go ahead and read this data pad. This site is spectacular. Time, however, has proven to be the real enemy. Even with those blue sun thugs hired to protect the dig site, we barely managed to erect the shield before the geth arrived. How can they know our movements almost before we do? Am I beaming my thoughts directly to them? I must find out how they are doing this. I shall ask Dr. Aloy for whatever help he can provide. Interesting. So the Blue Suns were actually here to protect the researchers, not here to stop them from doing their work. But there's strange sound emanating from this cave area. Maybe this is the Prothean Ruin. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find something down here. Whoa. Imagine finding a place like this, though, in real life and being like, yeah, this isn't spooky at all. So we'll get this element zero, 255, and we'll find even more dead blue suns and a dead body. With a bunch of credits! Thank you very much. Dr. Aloy must have been indoctrinated by the Reapers. I found him sending our data to a Geth ship. I won't be responsible for another Geth attack, another Eden Prime. I've silenced Aloy forever. Oh, no. I wonder if that's one of these guys. Probably not. That looks like Blue Sun Mercs, but... Interesting. Indoctrinated by the Reapers. Which means that they were in proximity to a Reaper tech of some kind. Go ahead and hack this computer console real quick. And hopefully not screw it up. There we go. Easy. I was a little nervous because I haven't done it in so long. It's like, what happens if I if I screw that up? So we'll go ahead and open. And what is that? Well, first, let's listen to this it's journal. For me. They're still in my head, stealing my thoughts. I can't keep them out. I've got no choice but to destroy this relic and myself. I don't think it worked, my friend. There's also this research this terminal. Handy. With biotic damage. Oh, yeah. The real perk of doing the Firewalker DLC is not only for the resources and the, and the credits and stuff that you get, but obviously uh, getting a biotic amp is a, is a pretty big deal. So let's go ahead and explore the whole point of all of this. Get this data pad first. Looks like a charred body. Dr. Case would never understand the deal I made with the Collectors. He's obsessed with these Protheans. He would sacrifice everything to learn their secrets. It nearly cost me my life, but I did it for you, Helen, to ensure you remain safe. The damned Collectors agreed to spare your colony in exchange for this Prothean find. I can only hope you remained innocent of any of this ugly business. It was all for you, Dr. Robert Bloy. So that's him. He died for Helen. He worked with the Collectors to stop them from attacking her colony. It looks like all that's left is this. this. If you remember from Mass Effect 1, there was a object like this on Elatania. Reflects everything in the room except for the people, just like the movie Sphere!
And we did it, baby. The final mission of Firewalker DLC. Dr. Case's research station has been found. The Prothean artifact has been recovered. We got 125 experience. <laughs> 125 experience. Uh, we got our biotic damage, which is huge. I mean, plus 10% damage on all of our uh, biotic stuff. Hell yeah. We got credits, 7,500 credits from Cerberus and from the ones we found, and 1,500 element zero. It is worth mentioning that if you finish this entire mission after the final mission of the game, if you because it's DLC and you can do it whenever, uh, if you come back and do it after that, it actually rewards more XP, but don't don't worry too much about that. But there we go. The Firewalker DLC is done in one episode. And it actually was a really long, like hours of recording for this. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you so much, Kelly. But as usual, we have some final things to see here. Historic discovery, the burst of energy that coincided with your retrieval of the Prothean artifact contained coded information. Most of the data was beyond our ability to track, but the threads we were able to decrypt have provided new avenues for research on energy transfer and biotics. It will keep the scientists busy for years to come. The data indicates that the artifact is currently inert, not dangerous. We wonder, however, that if Dr. Case had more time, would he have unlocked its secrets? We will continue his research. A landmark find for humanity. Good work, Shepard, from Project Firewalker. Nice! Dope! And we get the hammerhead, so, like, I'm into it. I'm into it. And, of course, we did get that if you... if you, We did just get that upgrade, so uh, that's a pretty big deal. But I'll go ahead and archive that. And uh, let's see if there's anything else going on. So, the first thing that we're going to do now that we've completed that is we are going to upgrade our biotic damage. Two out of ten. Uh... 500 element zero to research that no problem or one out of five sorry i thought that would be two out of five but uh i'm a liar apparently so we got that that is dope super happy about it um we can we could upgrade the i don't you know what why not let's go ahead and upgrade the med bay we have plenty of resources we'll just do it who cares um yeah that's pretty much all we can do right now great uh but there's one more thing that i want to show you that's kind of a result of the mission that we just did and if you did the mission in Mass Effect 1 for the Elitania one, I think this is kind of cool. So we want to head to the captain's cabin. And one of my favorite things about this game is, and I and I, we've talked about this before, it's subtle, but, you know, the fact that things... Oh, no. My fish died. Well, shit. Anyways, as I was saying, things happen. <laughs> uh, and one of those things is... Okay, music. The relic that we just retrieved is actually sitting on our table. And funny enough, there is a certain DLC that if you do it, doesn't matter if you did the Firewalker or not, this will be there at the end of that DLC. The Layer of the Shadow Broker, it'll actually be there whether you have it or not. But we do have it, and we can go ahead and examine it. It actually kind of, like, grows. It's, it's a little creepy. But that is pretty much the results of your entire thing there. Of course, we can check on our space hamster. But yeah, that's it. That's the entirety of the Firewalker DLC. The story of it is pretty, uh, not, I don't, you know, I don't want to say lame, but it's not great. I will say that kind of the cool thing about this DLC isn't necessarily, of, of course, isn't necessarily the, uh, the story or anything. It's People the fact that it... It kind of unlocked a bunch of different locations. It added the relic in the cabin. Uh, you obviously get the new assignments. You get the hammerhead vehicle, which is one of the, I think, one of the best vehicles. It's super fun to play. Uh, and there's a uh, uh, a fuel depot is actually added to the really widow sure system. To do with myself. And my friends, that will do it for today's episode of Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition on Insanity Difficulty. Real quick, I just wanted to say uh, thank you guys so much uh, for your patience. Uh, I took a, a, a lot of time off. I took a, about a month and a half off from uh, creating content or streaming or doing anything like that. Uh, not only did I have my 30th birthday and I went to Mexico and had a great time, but upon getting home, uh, I actually got COVID and was sick for a few days. And then uh, I just needed some time to kind of uh, uh, calibrate my, my, my existence, if you will. Uh, but hopefully I'm here. Uh, and I'm excited to be back. We have some new things that will be happening on, on patreon.com slash missile online, uh, which by the way, thank you to everyone that supported me and has supported me. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. Hope you guys still enjoy these videos and I will see you in the next one. That will not be months from now. Uh, it will be very, very soon. Remember, never give up. 
never surrender. Goodbye, everyone. You're beautiful. Beautiful.